Hey, on the channel, I left the horse out back, got the finest Western shirt I could find, and it's time to count down my top 10 favorite AEW Jazzwares figures of 2022. The spirit of will run for Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another year-end 2022 Top 10 Countdown List. And today, we're doing my Top 10 AEW Jazzwares Figures of 2022. I have to give a little asterisk though at the beginning here, as I am not counting the Supreme line. As you guys know, we've got Britt Baker... Two versions of Cody Rhodes that are very similar, as we do know. Uh, we've got Malachi Black, and of course, we did get Kenny Omega. So not quite enough to do a true top five or top ten list. I do expect next year, much like we do with the WWE Ultimates, to do a separate Supreme list. So this is everything but Supreme. So all the different exclusives, the Jazzwares exclusives, the Shop AEW exclusives, Ringside, Walmart, Target, Unrivaled, Unmatched, all those figures are fair game here. So we're going to count down those guys in this very video. And it's been an interesting year for the AEW Jazzwares figures. Uh, they started off very hot. A lot of figures left and right, left and right. And then as we're filming this, as you guys know, we've talked about it on the channel. There's some controversy right now. How well is the line doing? Are they wanting, are they meeting expectations? Is the line going to continue? I do think it'll continue. I think we'll see some changes, some ebbs and flows as they're still in the infancy of this line and really when you think about it Mattel's been running over 10 years now we're in like your number three of the Jazz Rares line so they've got some bugs to work out and of course they launched around COVID time frame a little bit before COVID so there's been that in there so I do expect 2023 uh, the ship will steer in the correct direction or at least what Jazz Rares thinks is the correct direction and I do think we'll see some changes with the line uh, next year. But this year has been an interesting one. Some really good, some really bad, some really ugly, to be honest with you. Uh, but I did cultivate a top 10 list out of all the figures. And that's what we got here today. So remember, as usual, get your list together. Put it in the comments down below. But make sure you put that list in order. It's always hard to put the list in order, but that is the fun part. So without further ado, let's kick it off. Let's start at number 10. All right, let's kick it off. Let's start at number 10. But before we get to number 10, I want to put a little asterisk here. And I guess this will be the unofficial number 11. This is a top 10 countdown. But number 10, and what this one is, number 11, went back and forth. I just kept going back and forth, back and forth. Could not make my mind up. But as of filming, you got to make a decision. And that's what I did. So this one is, I guess, the unofficial number 11 here. It is the AEW Unmatched Series 5 Chase Edition of Sean Spears. And I'm not the biggest Sean Spears guy in the world, but there is no doubt in my mind that this is a tremendously toyetic figure. Just looks awesome with that kind of metallic uh, color to this one, like a metallic teal, I guess, greenish color. Just a fabulous looking figure. I would love a loose copy of this in my collection one day. Don't know if that's ever going to happen, but I wanted to point this one out, wanted to call this one out, is I really did have a tough decision between number 10 and number 11. I did end up going with him as the unofficial number 11. 11. But let's turn it to number 10. And number 10 is a first time in the AEW line. It came from AEW Unrivaled Series 11. Who is it? Well, it's Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole, Unrivaled Series 11. A really, really good figure. But I do think Jazzwares team could improve on this. I do like the jacket, but I really do wish it was soft goods. But then you get the issue as, well, will the soft goods stain the figure? And that's been my biggest gripe with the Jazzwares figures, as you guys know. But a tremendous Adam Cole, a beautiful first start for Adam Cole in the Jazzwares line. Of course, we've had him in the Mattel Elite line as well. Even in 2022, one of the first times we've ever had a character from both brands on the store pegs or at retail at the same time. So an interesting uh, history maker here with this Adam Cole figure. But definitely, you know who this is. You pop the head off. Who is this? You know it's Adam Cole. He's got his big puffy jacket, the jacket that's about one size too large. He's got that going on here. Uh, just a very, very good figure and one of the strong ones of Unrivaled Series 11. So coming in at number 10, 
We got Unrivaled 11, Adam Cole. All right, we've reached the number nine spot in our top 10 countdown. And number nine comes from a guy we've got a lot of figures from the last couple of years. And I think 2023 is going to be his breakout year in the action figure world. Number nine is a close personal friend of the channel. Uh, one guy that really loves the videos, as you guys know. Who is it? Who are we talking about? Who's the friend of the channel? Well, it's our old friend, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes from the Unmatched series, as we do know. Uh, Unmatched Cody Rhodes. And this one also had a Chase Edition, uh, which I did find if you watched on the fi Friday Figure Hunts on the channel. Uh, but I do prefer the regular edition, so believe that there. But number nine is Cody Rhodes. We've had a ton of Cody Rhodes in the Jazzwares line over the last couple of years. And just wait, Mattel is going to take that to the next level. I guarantee we're going to have multiple Elites next year. I guarantee we're going to have a ringside collectible exclusive. We're going to have basics. We'll probably have a championship showdown. And we do know we're getting an ultimate next year as well. So 2023 is going to be the year of Cody Rhodes in the action figure game. And I have to think it will be in the Mattel headspace. So I guess 2023 countdown videos, we'll be looking at Cody into the Mattel line. But in this year, 2022, he's going to finish off the year with the Jazz Wears. And I just love the suit coat. Something totally different. We get a lot of suited figures between a lot of different lines. But we never get one with a suit coat. And and I think this one does look really sharp. Of course, we've got multiple head scans for Cody here. You can mix and match the beauty of this line. Just an all-around fabulous figure that does look really good and is a perfect figure for reuse in other lines. A lot of people have been doing uh, G.I. Joe, Crimson Guard, uh, the Crimson Twins, I should say, with these guys, uh, Tomax and Zaymont. A lot of people have been popping those heads, putting them on this Cody figure, so a lot of reuse out of this one as well. Just an all-around fabulous suited figure, and that's why it comes in at number nine in my top ten countdown. All right, we march on in the countdown, and we're at the number eight spot. And number eight was a late entry into this list. This was technically, I believe, unless something changes here in the next week, is the last entry from Jazzwares in 2022. It is the Ringside Collectibles. It is the Blood and Guts. It is the Thunder Rosa Blood and Guts Ringside Collectible Exclusive, available only on Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% if you're looking for this Thunder Rosa. And Thunder Rosa had a heck of a year in the action figure department. She had a fabulous chase version, a fabulous regular version, and now a fabulous Blood and Guts Ringside Collectibles version. So I'm very happy to have this one in my collection. You guys know I'm a sucker for face paint. You don't get very many females in face paint. So Thunder Rosa, definitely something special will she be back in AEW a little bit of a cloud of mystery around her as we close out 2022 but we've definitely got some very cool very toyetic figures out of her in the year 2022 so much so she's coming in at number eight in my top 10 countdown all right, we're at the number seven spot in the countdown. And once again, we go to a first time in the line. We go all the way to Unmatched Series 5. Who are we talking about? Well, we're talking about Brian Danielson, the American Dragon. Of course, another guy who's had many figures from the WWE Mattel line, now crossing over into AEW and the Jazzwares line. And I have to expect we're going to see some more Brian Danielson figures in 2023. But a heck of a good start here, much like the Adam Cole we talked about earlier. Just a fabulous, fabulous looking figure. Looks really good. Some complaints about the height. He's a little too big. Uh, I understand that. I guess if you're playing with him and stuff and some people, uh, you know, displaying it, it does look a little goofy. But boy, is this a fabulous figure. So much emotion out of the two different heads here. And of course, I love the fisted hands here in the position we can get him into. And we do know we also got a chase version of this one as well i haven't picked that one up and haven't looked for it so maybe i should add that to my to-do list uh for 2023 we'll see if that happens but coming in at number seven we've got the american dragon brian danielson all right we're at the number six spot in our countdown here and there's something special about a western shirt and what are we talking about well we're going to aew unmatched series four for Adam Hangman Page. I mean, they're playing all the hits right here with this one. As you guys know, I love me a country western shirt, especially for these best of videos. Uh, Adam Page stealing my gimmick a little bit. I've always been wearing these shirts. I also wear a lot of Dolly Parton shirts around town. And he's uh, kind of mixing up. Maybe he's a, a sleeper fan of the channel here. Maybe, who knows. But he can borrow with kindness. It's all right. But I love the idea of the western shirt here. And I do prefer this one over the green Walmart exclusive one, which actually seems to be 
be more readily available than this one, but a very cool Waylon Jennings inspired shirt is what this reminds me of. It reminds me of Waylon's Telecaster for sure, but a very cool Adam Page. Looks great. Love the jeans. Love the shirt, obviously. You get the drink stuff with him, which I don't really need that stuff. You know, me, Straight Edge Kyle, I'm not drinking anything, but very cool. Very toyetic. So much so, I did get a head made for myself. Put me on here. This is just something I would wear for sure. Uh, I would wear this to the office at work. I'd wear this out to the mall. You know, you know what I'll do that. I'm crazy like that. Uh, but just absolutely fabulous. Love the Western wear. I hope we get some more deep cut Western wears. Maybe give us like a yellow Western wear shirt. I think he wore one of those one time. I'd be all in on that kind of stuff. I know it's not for everybody, but this is my list, of course. So that's why Adam Page comes in at number six in my top 10 list. All right, we've reached the halfway point of our countdown. Do you get your list together? Make sure you put it in the comments down below and make sure you do subscribe to this very YouTube channel. As you guys know, we got all kinds of videos every single day. But number five comes to us and he is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Another good brother in paint. Who is it? Well, it is the Ringside Collectibles exclusive sting yes sting but it is the ring edition sting now this is one not everybody got because let's be honest there's a little bit of a burnout in aw rings they've had three now with the sting one so not everybody's wanting all these rings but when i found out sting was going to be the exclusive in there i had to pick it up and sting is one of my all-time favorites as i said but the thing about this thing is it very well could be the best sting we have received from jazzware so far let me tell you why. Well, it is the head scan. All the other stings, there's kind of no emotion going on. Different combinations of face paint, sometimes his, sometimes half Darby Allen, as we've seen. This one is great. It's Sting in mid holler. He's got some emotion going on. This is the Sting head sculpt we need. This is the Sting head sculpt we finally received. Now, I do think in 2023 we'll see some more Sting figures, and I would not be shocked to see them use this head on a different version of Sting. Got to get the most out of your molds, things like that. I don't think they're going to waste this one and done head sculpt just on a ringside collectibles ring exclusive. Pretty deep cut, but very cool, very iconic. I love this Sting so much so it came in at number five in my year-end countdown. All right, we've come to the number four spot in our 2022 top 10 AEW figures of the year. And number four, what is old is new again. As this character, this wrestler, came in at number one on my 2021 top 10 AEW figure list. Who is in at number four? Well, it is Luchasaurus, another late entry into 2022. You guys know I'm a sucker for Luchasaurus. I know people say he's no good in the ring, things like that. I don't listen. I turn out, tune out all the haters there. I love some Luchasaurus. Big wrestler, tattoos, mass. Man, he's playing all the hits. Sign me up all day long. I love some Luchasaurus. I'm ready for Luchasaurus in 2023. Give me the dark Luchasaurus. I love this mold. I love this figure. But this one, I absolutely love. I love the green and the black attack. I love the one color mask he has here. It just looks awesome. And this one does come from the Lucha Express 2 pack that came from his Amazon exclusive. I think it's still up on Amazon right now as we speak. But very, very cool. Yes, it is a bit of a repaint from last year's. We've had a few different repaints of Luchasaurus. But as far as Luchasaurus figures go, this is my favorite version. This one, if this was uh, here last year, this would have been number one. I absolutely love it. This one looks meaner, greener, and uh, darker than the other ones. And like I said, I hope in 2023 we get an all blacked out Luchasaurus figure. But this one is a sleeper. I'm sure a lot of people didn't pick this one up. They probably passed on it. And I understand why you might do that. But for me, a must-have coming in at number four in my top ten list. All right, we're getting dangerously close. We're at the top three AEW figures of 2022 as, of course, voted by me. And number three, we go to AEW Unmatched. We go to AEW Unmatched Series 5 once again. Who do we go to? Well, we go to a guy that's no stranger to a figure or two. We go to Kenny Omega. But we get the street gear suited Kenny Omega. And you guys know I'm a sucker for a suited figure. Especially a figure with a wild design, a wild outfit. Absolutely love what they put out here. Of course, you get the title belt with him. I love the glasses. Not my favorite look as far as facial hair and hair for Kenny Omega. But man, this jacket, man, these jeans. They bring this one over the top. Just so cool. So different. 
different, stands out. Absolutely love this one. I did take advantage of the ringside collectible sales that are going on right now. And of course, you know I use discount code Kyle when I placed my order. Uh, but I picked up another one of these because I need to get another head sculpt for me and put me on this. This is something I would wear to like an office Christmas party or something like that. I always like a wild outfit, a wild suit. This is uh, hitting home, much like the Adam Hangman page in this very video hits home as well. So Kenny Omega can't beat this one, unless you're number one or number two, but I do absolutely love it. And we got the suited version of Kenny Omega coming in at number three. All right, here we are at the number two spot in our top 10 countdown. And number two comes to us from our friends over there at Ringside Collectibles. As always, use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. But number two for me is something special, something very cool. The packaging is cool and the figure is cool. What am I talking about? We're talking about the first dance exclusive Ringside Collectible CM Punk. Say what you want about CM Punk. I know he is about as polarizing as polarizing gets, but man, oh man, it was quite the cool thing to see his return to wrestling, see this whole event, and to see this commemorated in an action figure like this with a special ice cream packaging. It really is top notch. It is really something very cool and outside of the box thinking was what we got here with this one. Just a very, very awesome figure that I think a lot of us do actually own. But I have, of course, I'm in on box one and then I have a loose one as well. We do got some staining issues with this one, as usual with Jazz Wears, uh, but I really do like the hoodie we got with this one, the soft good shirt as well, a fabulous looking CM Punk figure, of course the patented AEW microphone, you gotta have that, but then the hand with the ice cream bar as a one-off hand I thought was just really, really cool. Just a very strong moment in time figure, a very special figure for somebody we thought we would never see ever again in the wrestling ring. And now we're back to that, probably even worse. Now we don't think we'll ever see him again. Who knows, though, maybe he's got nine lives. I don't know what'll happen, but we'll see what happens with CM Punk in 2023. But for 2022, he's coming in at number two in my top 10 list. And that leaves one left. I think you guys will never guess what the number one AEW figure of 2022 is. But stay tuned, you're going to find out. All right, the time has come. We're at the number one spot. We're going to announce who my number one AEW figure is for 2022. I'm going to ask you guys one last time. Make sure you get your list together. Make sure you put it in the comments down below and make sure you do put it in order. And while you made it this far, you might as well thumbs up the video. It always helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to this very YouTube channel as we got multiple videos every single day. And of course, every single Thursday on the channel, we do do a countdown video very similar to this. But Without further ado, let's take a look at number one. And like I said, I don't think anybody else had this on their bingo card. I don't know if anybody else will have this as number one on their top ten list. And that's the beauty. That's why it's my list. Everybody's list is going to be different. Uh, and mine is probably going to be different than yours. But number one came to us very early in 2022. And it's one I never forgot about and I kept going back to. And as I laid all these figures out... I put them in order. I slept on it, put it in order. And I still had some issues trying to decide number one as I talked about number 10 and 11 earlier on in this video. But this one is so cool. And the match might not have been the best match ever, but man, the gear and man, the figures, definitely cool. And what is my number one? Well, it is the Blood and Guts exclusive ringside exclusive Kenny Omega figure. And of course, I had to be a double up club member of this one. Kenny Omega, nowhere near my favorite wrestler of all time, but this figure is awesome. Of course, I'm a blood and guts guy. I grew up in the height of ECW, uh, the NWA, the Buckhouse matches with Dusty Rhodes, things like that where, hey, you put on your cowboy boots, you put on your pads over the jeans, you got blood all over you. That was the way of the West back in the day. Of course, watching Japanese death matches and stuff in high school, just the blood and guts era is something that hits home with my generation or some wrestling fans uh, that have the same history of watching wrestling as I did. So to get this Kenny Omega with the knee pads over the jeans, though of course the white shirt that shows more blood, and then an absolute favorite head sculpt here for Kenny Omega, the hair down in his face, the blood in the hair, the crimson mass flowing, just so iconic and so cool. I really do wish this match would have been a little bit better matched. Everything would have went the way they wanted it to. That would have really helped this figure even more. But at the end of the day, I could not deny that this was my favorite figure of 2022. Maybe it's a little controversial. I could see that. But 
I'm a blood and guts guy. I see blood and guts on here. I love it. I love this Kenny Omega. And you're probably saying, why not Moxley? Why didn't he make your list? I don't know. I went back and forth. He would definitely be in my top 15, top 20 for sure. But if something about that one wasn't as cool as the Kenny Omega. Maybe it comes down to the white shirt. I'm not exactly sure. But just absolutely do love this figure. I'm so happy that this came out. I love these blood and guts sets. As you saw, Thunder Rosa was on my list here this year as well. So a lot of good blood and guts stuff. I'm anxious to see what we get for blood and guts next year. Would not be shocked to see a Briscoe's FTR maybe. Or at least FTR. I don't know if we'll get the Briscoe's. But the FTR, I could see them with the dog collars. There's a Blood and Guts 2-pack I would love to see as well. So we'll see what happens in 2023. But for 2022, the Blood and Guts ringside collectible exclusive Kenny Omega is making the number one spot for me. And once again, you put your list in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget about the Patreon channel that supports this very channel. You can go over there and you get early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As. You name it, a heck of a lot going on over there on the old Patreon channel. And then don't forget about social media, Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for my top 10 AEW Jazzwares figures of 2022, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.